Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm going to share a little bit about our family struggles to access healthcare. It feels like it's just always been um, a challenge to get the healthcare that we need for our family. We've gone through times of being insured, being uninsured, um, but it seems like even when we are insured, we have had experiences just having a hard time still affording the medical bills or our deductibles. Um, almost always making decisions based on really how much it costs, not what's best for our health and our well-being um, for us and for our kids. In particular, my husband has no insurance, no coverage at all, and hasn't for, um, for years now. He isn't eligible for any kind of assistance uh, due to his immigration status. I worry all the time what's going to happen to him and to our family if he is ever injured at work. Um, he works in construction, so it's a pretty high-risk job for injuries, um, but we have no coverage if something were to happen. Um, myself and the kids, we do have insurance, um, but like I said, even with being covered, we, you know, uh, last year, um, my youngest daughter um, banged her head, and I we wanted to get her looked at, so we drove to a hospital and even though I was standing there with a crying infant, they told us that we were not in network and that they had to advise us that we, they would treat us, but that we would have no coverage for the bills and that it could be very high. You know, we had to make, unfortunately, a decision to get back in the car with our crying infant, drive away from a hospital full of doctors that could have helped and helped us check our daughter and drive 40 minutes the other way to another hospital that was in our network. This kind of thing, I mean, that makes no sense. Um, thank goodness she was okay, but what if something had been really wrong? Um, you know, our family actually through this pandemic has been extended um, emergency coverage through Medicaid. Um, but every once in a while I get these letters in the mail saying that, you know, just reminding us that within a month of the federal emergency being declared over, we will likely lose our coverage. Um, and I just, every time I see one of those letters, I just think, you know, yes, the federal emergency of the pandemic might be declared over, but we know that the state of our health, of our healthcare, of our system is an ongoing emergency. People are dying uh, with insurance, without insurance, employed people, unemployed people, young and old in urban areas and rural areas, because there are just so many barriers to actually getting the care that we need. Meanwhile, health uh, healthcare companies are raking in huge profits on our on our health and on our lack of access to healthcare. So this is one of the many reasons that our family has joined the Poor People's Campaign and the fight for all of our rights, all of our interconnected rights, um, and the world that we all deserve to live in. Thank you.